anyone who's interested in the facts of, you know, where does the word Palestine come from? Simple question. And that's not what I want to talk about. Where does the word Palestine come from? Well, if you study history, and I don't mean Jewish history, but history, it was the Romans who changed the name of Judea and called it Palestine so that the Jews would forget their connection. So the word, the original Palestinians, just a fact of history, the original Palestinians were the Jews. The Jews were the Palestinians. Now, if someone is offended, if a, someone who calls himself a Palestinian is offended, I understand that. And they have a right to come out and say, look, I'm offended by this. But Mr. Yeager has a right to his point of view. And I think we should start respecting other points of view instead of immediately jumping on people and immediately, everybody's got to be politically correct. But the person that I will remember from tonight was an elderly man with a long white beard who was so upset. It went in his kishkas, you know? He was yelling at them. He, that there has to be an end to hatred. Okay, but what the council... Well, okay, but what the council... I'm out here for okay. against hatred. Okay, what the councilman Jaeger tweet? I don't know exactly what he tweeted. I, I don't know word for word, so I will not uh, elaborate on that. Did you see the tweet? No. So do you know anyone in this crowd that saw the actual tweet? Did anybody here see the actual tweet? I don't know. I don't know. Did you see the tweet from the councilman? No. No. no nobody saw it. I didn't see it. How come you're here today? Uh, I'm just like, I live in Berich, near, near from here. So like, I, I know there's a protest. I just like came to see what is going on. So uh, some people said it's mixed between some people agreed with Israel and uh -huh. some people yeah. against Israel. Mm -hmm. So I just came here like uh, some people have their own thoughts. About what? Like you said, what about you Israel or Palestine, both of them. Mm -hmm. So like I have my own thoughts too. Did you see the actual tweet? Uh, no, about the tweet, uh, about the consular? No, actually, but it says like it brings a lot of problems. It's like uh, something like. But you didn't see the tweet. No, I heard about it. Actually, I heard about what it today. Did he hear? What did you hear about the I tweet? I heard like he made like some tweet against someone who like just uh... What? About like someone, I made a tweet like make, like make some people like angry about the Jewish. That's what I heard today. <laughs> and why in particular? Because of the immigration. Because uh, if, if, if he does not recognize the existence of Palestinians, uh, if he is erasing an entire people with a rich traditional history and, and rich customs, he has no place whatsoever deciding um, laws about immigration in New York City. Did you see the actual tweet? Um, Excuse me, I'm asking something. Did you see? I'm a press member. From, from which? I'm a press member. From where? Vinnews.com. All right. Did you see the actual tweet? I did, yeah. Okay, and what are your thoughts? I've, I've said this several times. It's absolutely outrageous. It's disgusting. Um, it's dehumanizing the Palestinians and inciting them. My initial reaction was um, this is a very old racist. Uh, uh, racist waiting. idea that's been Linda enabled Sussur in your politics by the election of Trump. To this today. We are all waiting. Yeah, okay. That's why we're here. Um, we're here to confront Linda I'm Sassour. I'm New Yorker. We want to ask her why she supports terrorism against racist, civilians, against innocent men, women, and children. So Linda Sassour, where are so you? Linda Sassour, where are you? Linda Sassour! Omar is an anti-Semite. Omar is an anti-Semite. She's a coward. Oh, we're waiting for her. Let's see if she shows up. So tell me why you're here today. Well, I am here to stand up for what's right. Now, did you see uh, Councilman Yeager's tweet? Yes, I did. So what do you think of it? I agree 100%. I stand with the councilman. That's what the wall What do you agree with? I, I agree that there's no such thing as Palestine. It's a made up a country. And and Omar's a ter and Omar's an anti Semite. But you it's a terror! Omar Omar is a terror! They're a terror to society! <laughs>
<laughs> okay, so tell me, why are you here? I am here to support my community, to support my fellow man and neighbor. So I am here to defend my community, to defend my fellow neighbor, not just for Carmen Yeager. I'm here to show that we should stick together as a community. And this is the way it's supposed to be. When we have people that love one another and we help one another, when our neighbors get old, we have to check on them. And this is what we do. Now, do you think his tweet was stupid? I, people make mistakes. He is, a, he is a human being. Councilman does not put you above anybody else. Of course, if I was your councilman, I would be better. Now, he made a mistake. And of course, they picked on him for no reason. And it was wrong. And these, how many protesters are here exactly? Three? I don't even think I see three over here. This is the way we have to do it. And this is the way we have to help our fellow man. Now, do you think if, if every time a politician said something stupid, should we just get rid of all of them every time they say something stupid? No. I mean, we had we heard this before. Uh, Mr. Gingrich was the first one who denied the existence of Palestinian people in history. And how about Omar's tweets? Should Omar be reprimanded for her comments? She was reprimanded for her comments, although she was misquoted, misunderstood. And for her misunderstanding, she apologized. She didn't mean uh, to attack the Jewish people. She so, how do you know, so, how, so how do you know that Councilman Yeager didn't mean what you're claiming he meant? That's why we are here for. If he comes and says, I don't mean sure, it, sure. I apologize, from the I mean something different, then that's what we wanted to hear. Oh, you brought your little girl. Yeah. She doesn't have any bombs on her to blow us up, do you? Oh wait, oh wait, can I ask you something? Oh wait, wait, can I ask something? You don't think what you oh wait, 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 wait. excuse me. You don't think what you just said was the vice you, what? you don't think what you just said to that little girl uh, Well is wrong? we're standing over here to hate the Jews. They're not here to protest anything but the Jews. If they were here to protest something some something about streets or signs or garbage She's actually here to protest against somebody wearing a yarmulke. Yeah, but you were directing the comment uh, yeah, at a little girl. Well, what should I do? Are you right? I made a bad comment. I comment. Watch your mouth. This is America. I don't have to. I'm Watch sorry. This is America. It's Watch a free press. Free police officers. But can you imagine if somebody would do that to one of your children? You wouldn't be upset? If I would be standing in the middle of the street naked, I can say anything I want. I'm sorry. Nobody wants Look to see you naked in Bar Park. Don't you dare ever come in my community. You're in my community. You are causing a ruckus for no reason in my community. Excuse me, you, you heard the comment. Yes. What, what do you think of what, what do you That's think? disgusting. We're coming here to protest against bigotry and hate, and this is what he comes here to spread. He spreads more of it. that I'm not fair, so I'm giving this man the opportunity, I'm giving you the you're opportunity. Not fair. The never okay, fair. go ahead. Take so something. say what you want. Here's your chance. Like, say anything. Not fair. Go ahead. You, you, just, you okay. distort us. Whatever we say okay. doesn't distort. So what's, what's the point of you talking? So you can't have it both ways. You can't say I'm not covering it, all it all and you won't talk. Oh, you're fake news. No, yeah, and you can't you can't say that I'm not talking when you talk and you won't talk. Fake news. Go ahead. Opportunity. Fake news. Fake news. We know how you cut it and everything. You were there the last time yeah. and you yelled at me because yeah. you didn't like my politics, yeah. right? No. It yes, you did. Lady. It's your own wife. Why is that me? It's your own What's, What's my name? What's my name? You don't, you don't, See, you don't know. You're you don't know. Because you're you don't know your my name. Bad. So go ahead. What else would you like to say? I don't talk to you. What would you like to say? Yeah, they're violent people. They're very violent. They're so violent because my ex, I'm going to say that all people are violent. He should have clarified that he didn't mean that the Palestinian people don't exist because they do exist. And this is just like, there are a lot of people who just, that a lot of people who enjoy this. What is this the Linda the sword? She's afraid to show her face. They're not saying it, they're saying nice things. Excuse me, tell me why are you here? 
I don't want to talk. No, you're no. screaming. Just tell no, me what you're talking. I choose not to talk. Only scream? Yes. Okay. I mean, I said like, basically, the bottom line is. Don't hold it. Don't hold it. The bottom line is there's no discussion. There never was a discussion. And there will never be a discussion. Israel belongs to the Jews. Why? Because God said so in the Bible. In the very beginning of our holy Torah of the Bible, it says black and white. God gave the land of Israel to the Jewish people from now, from way back then, until forever. And there's no questions asked. It says clear for anyone with eyes that can see. It says very clearly. And there's nothing to discuss. And for that reason alone, it belongs to the Jews. It is not to be divided. There were politicians that did it. They were wrong. They are wrong. But it should never happen. And, and all we've seen was bloodshed. Why? Because it is against God. It is against His Torah. And that is the bottom line. There is nothing to discuss. What you're saying here is not representative. Now, what do you, when you saw the tweet, what was your initial reaction? Well, Kamen uh, Yeager is a good friend of mine. Uh, he probably, and, and I'm sure it will come out, he, he didn't mean it as an insult to the Palestinian people. And if you talk to me, yes, there are Palestinians in this world, so I'm not going to deny that he exists. And, uh, but it's interesting that you have a person like Sartor, who is the agent of hate in this town, and defends hatred, defends Farrakhan, defends all the haters of the world, and uh, she's going to come and teach us a lesson of what, what is hate or what is not. So I wouldn't uh, agree with uh, every uh, tweet that uh, Jaeger makes. He's responsible for his own tweets. And uh, we, we, have, we have learned from our long existence in, uh, in, in exile to watch what we, what, what we say. Now, you mentioned and, your uh, friends with Carmen uh, Jaeger, with Councilman Jaeger. What would you advise him if you spoke to him tonight? Uh, just take it in, in stride, and he should uh, definitely express his support for all the citizens of the city of New York. And uh, that's the way he is. I know him personally. I don't think he has a, a, an iota of hatred towards uh, Palestinians living in Brooklyn or in America. I don't think that's that's common that I know. Get out of here! What are you coming to this neighborhood for? So tell me, why are you here? Why I'm here? How can you not be here? They came to me. They're going to break into my house. The breaking is what they came to America for. Now, did you see, do you know what this protest is all about? I have no idea. I'm just walking by. I cry, say.